Hi everybody, Tim MX here and today I want to show you how to make color adjustment without affecting luminance after the intro. Okay, maybe you have already noticed that changing colors causes brightness changes too. In this video I will show you a very simple technique to make use of this effect. So altering the RGB values of an image more than a little bit will alter the apparent brightness as well. This often means that you have to go back and revise the black and white points. And of course perhaps the gamma correction too. Anyway, there's a way to minimize or perhaps eliminate this brightness changes by using the so-called constant green method. It's a very simple technique but can be very helpful if it comes to brightness changes during color correction. The idea is to leave the green color untouched or almost untouched if possible because that depends on the shot but it's very often a useful approach. This technique is based on the fact that green makes up most of the brightness of an image, so any changes on the green value have a large impact on brightness. Red and blue on the other hand have much less impact if it comes to brightness. To be more precise and to give you a better understanding, about 60% of the apparent brightness of a color comes from the green and 30 from the red, while blue only has 10% impact. These are around numbers, but now you've got an idea how the brightness in your image is affected only by using colors. And this effect is used too if it comes to black and white images too. Did you know that before? To knowing such things give you a real better feeling for your color grading because with such a knowledge you will be able to know what you are doing. Anyway, finally this means that only a small change of the color green will cause a noticeable brightness shift, instead a large blue shift will not. So the idea to leave the green color untouched sounds a bit crazy on the first sight but you will be able to change almost every other color without changing the green color. If you want to add more yellow for example, just decrease the color blue because yellow is the opposite color of blue or cyan. To bring in more cyan, just decrease the red color because red is the opposite color of cyan. I guess you have this idea. Here's a quick overview where you can see how you can adjust colors leaving the color green untouched. Okay, let me show you quickly how you can use this technique in practice. I recommend to use a primary boss because with those you have the most control which color to adjust. But first let me show you how much the colors cause the brightness shift in the image. If I decrease my red channel in the offset, for example, you can see that the luminance is decreasing too, but not that much. But if I decrease the green in the same amount, look at the white channel in the scopes. Can you see how much the luminance is affected? Same with blue. If I decrease the blue in the luminance is almost not affected. So if I want to add more yellow for example in this image without affecting the luminance as much because I'm happy with my color correction for example then just decrease the blue and if I want to decrease the yellow just increase the blue. Same with red. You may think that's not very practical, but if you try it out and use it, this approach more often you will see that it's a time saver because you have to do much less adjustments to compensate your changes afterwards. For example, to adjust your gamma corrections again and again. This technique will not change your life, but you will be able to compensate fine adjustments without affecting the luminance of your image as much. And that's it. We are done. And if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and what a great time. Bye.